My name is Peter. I grew up in Paikakariki and I left there when I'd finished school about the age of 17. Lived around the country quite a lot of time in the South Island, but also a range of other places around New Zealand. Coming back to Paikakariki to later in my life, it's given me a real feeling of the importance of community, which flows through in the sort of work that I do. My involvement with Cody is more recent. I've always been really interested in these amazing forests, but haven't spent much time in them. You look at them from the outside and they're fantastic, green and lush. But then you go into them and realise things aren't really as good as they could be. The survival of Kauri is important to all of us, but it's under threat from Kauri dieback. It's a water mould that penetrates through the roots of Kauri and can cut off its food supply and eventually killing it. The natural spread of Kauri dieback is quite slow, just a few metres a year through the soil which is why controlling the spread of soil infected with spores on boots or equipment is so important. If you get soil on your boots in one area that's infected with kauri dieback and then jump in your car and, and drive somewhere else, you could spread the disease 100 kilometres or more to forests that wouldn't have otherwise been at risk. In the last 10 years, thousands of kauri have died in the north. The work we do at Ground Truth is about applying technology to find solutions to environmental problems. Initially you start focusing on areas where the disease is present, but then the more you get involved you realise how important it is to protect areas where the disease is not yet present. We are implementing a Kauri dieback app. The app will provide information to educate and involve communities and work to protect our forests from kauri dieback. It will allow people to log and record potential new sightings that can be shared with scientists and others to assist in the wider fight to protect the forests. It's going to take everybody, scientists, government, community, working together on this epic challenge. Kauri dieback is not just a science problem, it's a community problem. It's everybody's responsibility to work together to protect the forest from this disease.